Welcome back to the Weather Beast. Today we're going to have a look at five different distortion pedals on bass. To be very honest with you, I don't like distortion. I find it absolutely useless and I don't know why I'm doing this video. The sound samples you're about to hear are all recorded through this preamp and this cap simulator using the Hardcurve 4x10 impulse response directly to the door and to the computer. Nothing more. Let's do this. The Analog Fox Green Muff is not exactly a distortion pedal, but it's written dist on top of it, so... As soon as you turn this pedal on, you notice the rich and large bass and the piercing highs, especially if you turn the tone knob above 12 o'clock. The sound is scooped, you either love it or hate it, and sustain is like ketchup dripping from a hamburger. The Triton Lab Dual Fat Overdrive has the most musical distortion to my ears. The breakup is simply wonderful. Whether it's a light overdrive or a crazy distortion, you always feel in control. Triton Lab is coming out with a new pedal called the Corsair and I'm really looking forward to try it. DS12 is a surprise. It's a guitar pedal, but it sounds really good on bass. Lows are nicely preserved, distortion is powerful, and it's easy to dial in a decent saturated sound. It's fun. A tad dark, not too precise, but still excellent value for money. The VFE Triumvirate is a blast. This pedal is fun. It sounds huge. It's a three band distortion, each with gain and volume knobs. Lows are set around 30 or 40 hertz, so when you boost them, it adds so much warmth to the sound. Perhaps a little too much sometimes. It has its own character. It sounds harsher than the Fed, but less than the Green Muff. The gate function on the Amp Tweaker Tight Rock Jr. is a winner for me. It's so effective. You get less sustain but more attack and complete silence between staccato notes. The sound of the distortion is clear and articulate, almost as refined as the FET Overdrive. Dialing in a good tone takes a bit of practice and it does sound better powered by 18 volts. Now we're going to listen to each pedal individually without any preamp or cap simulator using a bass line that I have looped. The Green Muff is great if you need low-end pressure and high-end distortion presence. However, it can get a little bit muddy. 
As with most tall front Russian green muffs, you will be felt, but not necessarily heard because of the lack of mid-range presence. internally on 33 volts. This means you get a lot of headroom, especially interesting if the incoming signal is loud. This pedal is a refined workhorse. The DS12 is a fairly good distortion. You get three different sounds from it. A more modern sound, like a boosted overdrive, and a more vintage sound. If you're on a tight budget, this is a great pedal. Eleven trim pots inside the VFE triumvirate. One is to adjust the LED intensity and the ten others are to adjust the frequency range and the gain of each band. It's a bit confusing to set these trims so I ended up doing it by ear. The end result is a powerful and aggressive effect that allows you to easily blend your distorted sound with other instruments. knob on the side it allows you to blend the lowest frequencies of your clean signal that means that only the low mid to high frequencies will be distorted the attack response thanks to the blend and gate knobs and the saturated sound quality are the main assets of this pedal I hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do hit the bell notification subscribe and I will catch you in the next video bye bye and to be very honest with you, I don't like uh, distortion pedals.